we continue talking about cards, in particular playing cards, the ones that you could see here, and about suits and their faces. In fact, what we call faces didn't appear on cards until 16th century. And faces meant that you could see on a card a portrait of uh, a person who belonged to aristocracy or it was uh, a legendary hero or a goddess from myths uh, and legends. Uh, the researchers believe that the hierarchy of cards didn't depend only on suits, here you see spades, um, but it also depended what uh, person, what character, what archetype uh, was represented by the card and its face. And we begin uh, with the mightiest. This is the king of spades. The king of spades uh, is uh, shown with a sword and, as you could have learned from the previous video, a sword is associated with a spade. So, king of spades uh, is generally believed uh, to represent uh, King David, uh, a character from the Bible. Though some researchers doubt that it was a real person. To understand why exactly spades and uh, namely King David are shown on the mightiest card, we need to understand uh, that um, in ancient times uh, sword was associated with protection, thus it was associated with peace. And peace in that sense that uh, evil forces or enemies will not be able to attack, harm, hurt or kill or devastate the territory. For exactly this reason, a nation or a country needs to have a so-called perfect, wise leader. Nowadays this is a function of a president uh, who normally is the commander-in-chief who is responsible for unity of the territory and protection of uh, interests. And King David, who is uh, represented on the King of Spades card, was exactly such a leader, a perfect leader. From uh, Hebrew, David is translated like beloved, and he was considered to be the beloved son of God. David is richly represented in post-biblical Jewish written and oral tradition and is discussed in the New Testament. Early Christians interpreted the life of Jesus in light of the references to the Messiah and David. Jesus is described as being descended from David in the Gospels of Matthew and Luke. And David is mentioned like uh, a prophet king of God. The biblical character of David has inspired many interpretations in art and literature over centuries. For instance, here is the painting by Caravaggio called David with the head of Goliath. And Goliath was an evil giant who was uh, beheaded by King David. According to the Old Testament, uh, King David could play a musical instrument so well and he knew some secret chords that pleased the Lord and it made uh, him uh, his beloved son. The secret chord is also the name of the book uh, by Geraldine Brooks, the winner of the Pulitzer Prize. And in this novel she tells us about the life of King David. And the name of the book was taken from a famous song by Leonard Cohen called Hallelujah, which translates from Hebrew as Thank God, where the first verse begins with Now I've heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. And you definitely heard this song in a famous Shrek cartoon. If you don't remember that, I do recommend you to find it here on YouTube. There is another reference to King David's life in this song. It goes you saw her bathing on the roof, her beauty and the moonlight overthrew you. Which sends us back to the story of how King David met his beloved wife, who gave birth to their son Solomon, who took after his father, who ruled the country after David, and was believed to be a very wise king. So, this is a short story hidden behind a face of King of Spades. See you soon.